94.5 The Lake is saying no to <laughs> Seattle. The local radio station is banning Seattle-based musicians all week long. That's getting a lot of attention from Seahawks country. As Bridget Shanahan reports, The Lake has been flooded with feedback from Hawks fans looking to take a jab at the Packers. We are saying no to Seattle, no Seattle bands, no Seattle singers, little mojo for the Packers. They're usually all about variety at the lake, but there are certain bands that you won't find on the playlist. Heart, um, Nirvana, Foo Fighters uh, are, are some of the big ones. The Seattle song sideline is all about sending good vibes to the Packers in Sunday's game against the Seahawks. It really touched the nerve with Seattle, and, and uh, it's funny because we've got caller ID on our incoming lines, and I can see all these 253 and the 425 uh, area codes. Yeah, those numbers are straight out of Hawks country, and the phones are flooded. Hundreds, you know, hundreds. It's not surprising that all those Seattle song requests are coming from out of town. I tried doing a Google search for Seahawks bars in Milwaukee, couldn't come up with any. I did find this website, though, Seahawks Meetups. It lists bars all over the country, even all over the world. There's one in Tokyo, but not a single one in Wisconsin. Hey, it's the lake in Milwaukee giving you a call back. We did manage to get a Seahawks fan on the phone, but even he admitted his dad actually roots for the green and gold. Hey, go back, go. Scroll through the lake's Facebook page, and you'll find more trash talk, complete with protest posts featuring videos of the band artists. It's all in good fun. You know, and I said, I, we respect that team a lot. No word yet on what's going to happen on if, or should I say when, the Packers make it to the Super Bowl. They'd be up against either the Colts or New England. So that can mean bands on bands like Mellencamp and the Jackson 5 or Boston and Aerosmith. In Milwaukee, Bridget Shanahan, today's TMJ4. So most of the calls and Facebook posts have been lighthearted, but some did have to be removed. The lake is owned by the same company that owns TMJ4.